Some projects sound very exciting when they are in theory, but turning that theory into a reality is very difficult. When the project is about a space plane, the difficulty increases even more. The Dream Chaser project is the perfect example of this. This space plane has been anticipated by space fans for years, and every time they decide to launch it, a problem appears, making it frustrating to witness. Some experts even believe NASA might cancel projects like this that are not coming to an end by the initially set deadline. Today, we are going to talk about this in detail. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the latest developments in the industry. The Dream Chaser space plane, developed by Sierra Nevada Corporation, is designed to transport cargo to the International Space Station. It was part of NASA's Commercial Resupply Services program, which also included SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. NASA gave contracts to both SpaceX and Sierra Nevada in 2016, aiming to support International Space Station operations. But when we look at today's situation, the two spacecraft are not even close when it comes to their success. SpaceX has done an amazing job with its Dragon spacecraft. It has successfully completed many missions, consistently delivering cargo and bringing back scientific samples. On the other hand, the Dream Chaser has faced several delays and hasn't flown yet. The biggest issue they encountered is the unique design of the spacecraft. Unlike traditional rockets, the Dream Chaser resembles a plane. This airplane-like design is difficult for several reasons. Firstly, the aerodynamic shape that allows it to glide and land on conventional runways requires extensive testing and precise engineering. Achieving a balance between being lightweight for launch and durable enough for re-entry poses significant challenges. Secondly, the thermal protection system, which is crucial for surviving the intense heat of re-entry, had to be specially designed for the Dream Chaser's shape. This involved additional testing and iterations to ensure it could withstand the extreme conditions. Another major problem is the choice of rocket. The Dream Chaser was supposed to launch on United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket. However, this decision has caused problems. The Atlas V is not as cost-effective or frequently launched. United Launch Alliance has a solid record of successful launches, but it can't compete with SpaceX. Atlas V is more expensive to launch compared to SpaceX's Falcon 9, which benefits from being reusable. Moreover, Boeing's Starliner has also faced numerous delays due to issues with the Atlas V rocket. For example, just a couple of weeks ago, the Starliner was finally ready for launch after multiple delays. The astronauts had boarded, and everything seemed set for a successful mission. However, a problem with the rocket led to another delay. The problem during this incident was related to the rocket's propulsion system. Just before launch, engineers detected an issue with the valves in the propulsion system, which were not opening correctly. This posed a serious risk, leading to the decision to scrub the launch. To minimize these kinds of challenges, Dream Chaser should switch to SpaceX's Falcon 9, or Falcon Heavy could be a smart move. SpaceX's rockets have shown high reliability and a successful track record. The Falcon 9 was first launched in June 2010, and since then it has completed over 100 successful missions, making it one of the most reliable rockets in the world. The Falcon 9's reusability is a game-changer, significantly lowering launch costs by allowing the same rocket to be used multiple times. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which had its first launch in February 2018, has also demonstrated impressive capabilities. The Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world, capable of lifting more than twice the payload of its closest competitor. To date, the Falcon Heavy has completed several successful launches, including high-profile missions such as the launch of the Tesla Roadster into space. Space companies come up with innovative ideas for spacecraft, and then they pitch these ideas to NASA. If NASA sees potential in the project, they invest in it to help bring the concept to life. For example, NASA has invested in several notable projects over the years. They backed SpaceX's Dragon capsule with around $396 million to develop a spacecraft for cargo and crew transport. Blue Origin received about $500 million to develop their New Shepard and New Glenn rockets. Boeing Starliner, another spacecraft designed to carry astronauts, was supported with approximately $4.2 billion. 
But why does NASA do this? By investing in multiple companies, NASA ensures that there are several viable options for getting cargo and crew to the International Space Station and beyond. This not only drives technological advancements, but also helps to keep costs down. In the past, NASA used to handle all of these missions themselves. They developed and operated the Space Shuttle program, which was a fleet of reusable space planes that carried astronauts and cargo to and from the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle program was incredibly successful, but also very expensive and complex to maintain. After the Space Shuttle retired in 2011, NASA needed new ways to continue their missions. Instead of building a new space plane from scratch, NASA decided to partner with private companies. This approach allows NASA to leverage the creativity and efficiency of the private sector while focusing on projects like the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually send astronauts to Mars. Out of all the projects that NASA is funding, Dream Chaser stands out as the most unique. After years of preparation, the Dream Chaser is finally ready to show us what it can do. More than six months ago, in late October and early November of 2023, Sierra Space announced they had completed the first Dream Chaser prototype, Tenacity. At that time, they revealed that Dream Chaser would undergo several months of testing at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility. After completing these tests, the space plane would move to Florida to get ready for its first launch. After many months of rigorous testing, on May 20th, NASA officially announced on its website that the Dream Chaser had arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This milestone was part of NASA's broader efforts to expand commercial resupply capabilities in low Earth orbit. The Dream Chaser space plane, aptly named Tenacity, arrived at Kennedy on May 18th. It was transported in a climate-controlled container from NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Sandusky, Ohio. It's worth noting that Sandusky, Ohio, is also famous for its roller coasters at Cedar Point, which might be fun but has nothing to do with space travel. Upon arrival at the launch complex, Dream Chaser joined its companion, the Shooting Star Cargo Module, which had arrived on May 11th. This step was crucial as it marked the final preparations before the space plane's launch. According to NASA, after arriving at the launch site, teams moved Dream Chaser Tenacity to the high bay inside the Space Systems Processing Facility for final testing and pre-launch processing. Regarding pre-launch testing and processing, Dream Chaser will undergo a series of additional tests, such as acoustic and electromagnetic interference compatibility testing. The team will also complete work on the space plane's thermal protection system and finalize payload integration. Dream Chaser has already gone through many rigorous tests during its more than six months at NASA's test facility. The space plane and the cargo module underwent vibration testing using the world's most powerful spacecraft shaker system at NASA's Space Environments Complex. Following this, Dream Chaser underwent over five weeks of thermal testing at NASA's In Space Propulsion Facility. During these tests, Dream Chaser and Shooting Star were subjected to multiple cold and hot cycles in a vacuum environment, with temperatures ranging from minus 150 to over 250 degrees Fahrenheit. This allowed Sierra Space to conduct functional tests at these extreme temperatures to verify system performance. One critical system that underwent thorough testing was the space plane's forward RCS thruster. This component, located at the front of the space plane and covered by the thermal protection system carrier plate, is crucial for Dream Chaser's docking with the space station. It will also endure the highest temperatures during re-entry. The tests were completed without issues, indicating that the system performed well and is ready for the demands of space missions. Now, let's talk about the launch schedule. According to NASA, the launch is set for later this year. Dream Chaser will be launched by ULA's Vulcan rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.